Hey there guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to port forward the XAMPP server that we created in the tutorial last time. So essentially what we're going to be doing today's tutorial is we're port forwarding the the last server that we created so anyone on the internet can access it potentially. So without any further delays let's just get into the tutorial. Firstly what you want to do is open XAMPP by typing in XAMPP in your in the start menu wait for it to load up once you've got XAMPP open what we want to do next is start both the Apache and the SQL services um, one, well, let's wait for the services to start my computer is being a bit slow today once both the services have started, what you want to do next is check on the port section. You want to make sure that you have port 80 and 443, simply because we're going to be using port 80 for port forwarding, so that any connections on the IP address is uh, on the port 80 are forwarded to this computer. So next you want to open CMD by typing CMD, command prompt. Um, We'll be using IP config next to find out the default gateway of a computer by just typing IP config. Then what you want to do next is go under the LAN adapter Wi-Fi settings or your Ethernet settings and find your default gateway. For me, it's 192.168.1.1. I'm going to go ahead and open any browser. For me, it's going to be Chrome. You could open any other browsers. Um, wait for it to load up and I'm going to Simply go ahead and type in the IP address, which was 192.168.1.1. Once that's done loading up, what I'm going to be doing next is going to my WAN services, which is where the port forwarding rules are. And I'm going to be creating a new one so that I'm able to port forward uh, the XAMPP server. Okay, so I'm going to be opening WAN services. Um, once you open your WAN services or any other service on your router, it might look a bit different. But what you want to do next is I think you're going to have to log in into your default gateway. Most usernames and passwords are admin admin, but I've changed mine to something else. Once you're done signing in, you go back to WAN services. And obviously, we're going to be looking at the different ports we have open. So right now, I have a port open called Harrow College, which I'm currently using for my websites. It's open on port 80 to allow localhost connections to my computer, where any whenever any user enters my IP address on the internet is allowed into the web XAMPP server, obviously with security measures and firewall. So for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be adding a new IPv4 port. First of all, I'm going to be turning the Harrow College one off. And next, I'm going to be replicating the same one in another one below just to show you guys how it's done. So we're going to head up to add a new rule or add a new IPv4 port mapping, at least that's in my case. Okay, once I'm done clicking on that, it's going to load up with a new screen with different options on it. Um, and that one, you need to enter different details related to the new port forwarding rule that you're creating. So scroll up to the top and we create our service name. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be calling this one tutorial. And it's going to be a TCP type. You can do TCP and UDP if you like. It's up to you. Um, ports 80 because that's what we are using for port forwarding on XAMPP, 80 on LAN again and the destination IP is the IP address of the computer that would be running XAMPP. So potentially you need to go to that computer and first of all find out the IPv4 address. So to do that type in CMD, open command prompt, we will be using IP config again to find out the IP address of a computer. And once you go under the wireless or wired wired connections, you will see IPv4 address, which you can copy. Once you've copied that, you paste it into the section called destination IP, and then you simply click on the add button. 
I'm not going to be clicking on the add button because mine already exists. So it's just going to give me an error saying over it's overlapping. So I'm going to close this one real quick and delete the one called tutorial and resume the Harrow College one since I'm not able to open two services with the same port on and the same destination address. So I'm going to go ahead and open, turn on the Harrow College one so that I'm able to demonstrate how it works. So simply apply the changes. Everything's once I close the settings, the page is going to refresh and the changes will be saved. There we go. The page is refreshing slowly. Now I open a new tab and find out my public IP address, which should be displaying in a second. Okay, once that's opened up, we copy that address and we paste it in a new tab. Um, once you click enter, you're going to be taken straight to the Zampapachi index page. From where you can change this address to your websites and your directories by simply entering the directory name. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe and also if you like me to add more videos, drop it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Peace.